Hi right, everyone and uh, welcome back to another video. So today I'd say we're still stuck in this isolation but I wanted to do something different and um, sort of try to make some sort of staple food source around what I could do inside the garden. As I, as I know I've got a really small garden, I don't have any vegetable patches or anything over there. But I looked out the window just a minute ago and there's abundance of dandelions in front of my garden and also on the road and just on the other side of the road. So I'm not going to film me picking these things up because the wind is just crazy, crazy. Um, but the dandelion, as you see, what I'll do is do some overlaying pictures of it. Um, the whole thing is completely edible. The flower, the stem, the leaves, and the roots are all edible. The dandelion. So I've used the dandelion roots in the past for some other videos. We made lovely dandelion coffee with them to dig them up. And so I might do some more stuff like that, so now I'll pick the heads and what I'm going to do is make a dandelion jam. Yeah, that is, well, I'm also the feed the guinea pigs as well because they like it and also the, the, he likes them as well, so they're going to get a few of those. But my, my aim is to make some dandelion jam and also just have a little bit of garnish with some salad um, for tonight's dinner as well. So that, that's, that's the mission. Let's go. I've got a nice bag. I'm going to go out there and just pick. Um, I'm not going to devastate the entire area. I'm just going to take half of the patch of dandelions in each patch I go to and we'll see how many we can get. So we'll catch back shortly. Okay, so I've now got a nice big yellow hand with all the pollen and that sort of It's probably not the best thing to do if you've got hay fever really, is it? But okay, we've got a big, big bag here full of dandelions. Yeah, um, I don't know how many I've got. A big bag full of them. And the recipe I'm going to do is quite a simple recipe because it needs no peptin and all you, all you need is three ingredients, or four really. You need dandelions, which I've just collected, you need water, and you need sugar, and an orange, and lemon is optional if you want to use a little lemon. So the recipe I'm using is 150 grams of, of dandelions to 750 grams of water, between three and 400 grams of... um of sugar depending on how sweet you actually want to make it half an orange and a square and um, half a lemon juice if you watch you want it for a choir so that's all i'm going to do now i'm not going to go inside it takes about an hour and a half to do this so i'm going to go inside now talk you through the little recipe and then um hopefully tomorrow for breakfast i can have a bit of jandy line sort of honey jam what we only would call it um jelly so americans you call it jelly British we call it jam um, I think this one might come more of a honey consistency this time because I'm not using any peptin or anything like that um, just to try to thicken it up but let's give this one a go and um, all the description and the recipe is going to be down below and also I've got a new website launching very very shortly and there's going to be some blogs and that sort of stuff and all these things all these recipes are going to be posted onto there as well so you can come back and check them out anytime you want so let's get in and get this dandelions sort of sussed one thing which you do say, um, it's up to you if you want to leave the green bits onto the dandelion. So if you want a more of a flake of a vibrant yellow colour, I would just take the petals off. If you don't mind having the opaque sort of translucent bit, what the green will do to it, um, you can leave them on. So it depends on how you want your dandelions to be. You know, do you want a nice bright sort of yellowish or do you just want a bit of an opaque? Uh, the flavour doesn't really consist of too much. Some say bitter, some don't say bitter. Yeah, but do what you want to do. Today I'm going to leave mine with them on and I'll do another batch over the next week or so with them off and I can, I can te test taste the difference. So let's, let's get some water in the boil and let's start getting these on the process. Okay so we've gone to the kitchen and um, we're going to start it off. So the first thing I need to make sure I've got myself 150 grams of dandelion. So I've just got the, the colander and just put it onto the scales. And then what we're going to do is just set the scales to zero to see how many grams we've got because the first thing we want to do is just wash, wash the dandelions. So let's just grab the handful of dandelions and then we'll start putting them in there. I want 150 grams. And the last one in the bag. Oh, look at that. That... That is the bag, completely empty, and I've got exactly 150 grams. So we've got, I've just boiled the kettle, uh, we'll just go over the sink, rinse these through with a colander with some boiling water. Um, because it is outside, there could be anything, cats, dogs, cars, so let's just rinse this stuff off, kill any bacteria, and then we'll come back again. 
Okay, so it's washed them. The next thing I need is 750 millilitres of water. So we're going to put it into there. We're going to get it up to a rolling boil. Once it got into a rolling boil, I'm going to turn the temperature to a medium high heat, put the dandelions inside it, and then leave it for an hour um, just to basically extract all those sugars and nectar and, and natural flavorings and, and all the vitamins from the dandelions. They're going to be infused into the water. And the same thing as well is um, I've only got these satsumas. It does say um, the recipe really for half an orange, so I'm going to use a whole satsuma. Just cut that up. And that's basically like a pectin sort of thing as well, just to look, make a bit like a marmalade sort of thing really. And we'll put a we'll quarter of this up, put that inside there as well, and, and allow all the vitamin C and that to come out inside there as well. So it's going to be lovely. It's going to be good. So let's get this water on. Let's get this water on the old boil. Turn it on. Let's get a lid. And that's it. So I'm just going to leave that to start boiling. The other, the other greens we need is the sugar and lemon juice. It is optional. It's a very, very simple recipe. Anyone can do it. The dandelions are in full blossom right at the moment. This, this lovely weather we're getting currently during this isolation period is bringing out some really nice dandelions. So get yourself out over the next couple of days. Pick them up before they turn to flat, before they turn to seeds. And get yourself some stored jam. Oh. The other thing you do need is some of these. You're going to need some of these as well. You need something to put them in. So I've been storing some jam jars and coffee jars and bisto jars and all sorts of jars over the last few weeks in preparation just to try to make some things. Um, my own chutneys and my own jams coming over there. So I've got a few of these as well. But the recipe makes around about 300 mils, 300 to 400 mils of, of fluid anyway. Uh, what's this thing hold? This thing holds 380. So. So really, what I'm going to make here is going to fill this entire jar up. So if you want it to yourself, nice and thick, or just want to get two little jars, and then you can have it for yourself and give one for someone else as well. You never know, a little gift. So we'll see what happens. <coughs> Hello? Hello? Hello, what can I do for you? I'm, I'm making you a little present. I'm making some dandelion jam or honey, depends on how thick it becomes. Yeah. And lemon. Nice. Yeah, it's got orange and lemon juice inside it as well. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah. All right. I'll I'll will fi finish this off in a few minutes and let it cool down for the next 24 hours, and I'll get it delivered over to you. Right. That's now coming to the boil. So let's just get everything else prepared. So let's get everything cut up now. So. Proper boiling now. So we've got the orange. Let's get the, get the old dandelions, get the orange inside that, so it all go in together. And then we'll lift up the lid. We'll just pour all that in there. The old dandelions in. I'm going to put a lid back on again because I don't want to lose this lovely juice which we're going to make. So we'll put the lid back on. I'd say I might leave it on six first just to bring it back up to the boil. And then we'll bring it down to about four just to give it the old simmer. Once it's at the boil, I'll set, I'll set the old machine over, which I'm not going to say the name of it because that just annoy every single person. But I'll set the machine, you know the one that makes all the noises, for an hour. So then I've got a little time so I can go away, leave it, and then come back after an hour. And then I can do the next part. Okay. Which involves a sieve. So get yourself so you get an hour now to hunt rummage around your cupboards to find your sieve which you're going to need. So we're finished with the colander, that can go in the old dishwasher, which is now on the go now, so I'll put that one in a sec. And the next job I'm going to need is a sieve and a scale to get So I'll see you in an hour. Well, it's about one second for you, it's 60 minutes for me, so I'll see you then. All right, that's it, that's the hour. Off. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is take this off the boil, and then we're going to strain all of the stuff inside the old sieve. And we're going to now add the sugar, so the three to 400 grams of sugar. See, I don't know how much sugar I've got left in my tub, so we'll see how much we've got. And that will be what we've got. So first part, let's get this strained, squeeze all the juice out, and then put it back onto the boil again with the sugar. The bowl. Ouch. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've got the bowl. Got the sieve. Let's 
see if this, let's try and do it so you can see it. I'm doing it cat handed though. Get your juice out. We'll get the back of the spoon. And we'll squeeze all the juice as much as we can. Right, that's it, we can get rid of them now. We we'll transfer this back into the old pan. Oh, get the old pan out, I dropped. It's a nice liquid. And now we want to see how much sugar we've actually got in here. So what I'll do, I'll just reuse the jug I used earlier on. The scales and we'll measure how much sugar we've actually got to play with. Right, so that's 300. We're going to the middle, 350. Let's take some out. Put some in. Yeah, we've got 350 grams of sugar. So we'll now put that 350 grams, we'll put this back onto the board again. Put it down to low heat this time. And we'll put the sugar into this. And at the same time, we're also going to put, if you've got a real lemon, let's say, I, I haven't been able to go shopping because of doing this isolation sort of thing, but I've got some, some sort of lemon juice. If you've got a real lemon, you, you, this is optional anyway, you can add that into it. So we're going to add a dash of lemon into, probably a little bit more, into the pot. We'll give that a stir, and then we'll leave this for 30 minutes. And then we'll start doing a few tests just to see is it the right consistency we actually want. We'll leave the lid off this time, so we'll let that evaporation come as well. 30 minute timer. 30 minutes, starting now. Okay, so the timer's just gone off for 30 minutes. I've just turned it off just for now, but the next stage to, to test the consistency to see if it's um, thick enough how you want it or do you want it thicker still. It's a little test, a little simple test. You need a teaspoon for this and your freezer. So all we simply do is get a little teaspoon of the syrup, which we just got on here. Oh, I'm just dropping on the floor. Which we, a little teaspoon of the syrup. And then we put this into the freezer for one to two minutes. And when we get it out of the freezer, if it's the consistency you want, you then jar it up. If it's not, if it's still too runny, Put it back on the hob for another 10 minutes, 5 minutes, how long you need to put it in there for. You're just going to play around a bit until you get the consistency just right for yourself. And then you're ready to do the next stage. So I'm going to put it in the freezer and I'll be there. Okay, so we'll see. Inside. Okay, so we'll now see inside here and to have a quick look. It's been 2 minutes. How thick. Oh, look at that. That's still still f oh, oh dear i'm dropping it everywhere now it's still slightly runny so i think it needs another few more minutes okay my main camera died just then but i've just tasted it for the very very first time it tastes exactly like honey so oh that is that is proper nice so um let's heat that up a little bit more and then we've got a lovely sort of vegan really if you think about it because it's just flowers and sugar and there's no there's no animal produce or animal sort of thing into there whatsoever so lovely bit of dandelion sort of honey so we're going to heat this up low a little bit longer because it's still a bit too runny we're going to thicken it up ah oh, look 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 at this look at this that is proper proper thickness now yeah, this is exactly what we wanted. It just needed the extra two, extra sort of four minutes, four or five minutes of simmering time just to make that perfect consistency. Oh, that is perfect. That is so nice. Just the humble dandelion just made that syrup like two hours worth of work. Uh, and that, that is so nice. I recommend, check my recipe, check my blog out, watch this video back and make yourself your own 
dandelion syrup. All that's left to do now is just pour it into the jars, to put the lid on and leave it to cool at room temperature before you put it in the fridge. So that's it, let's turn it over. So that's it for now, just remember, it's better to be one with wilderness than to fight and struggle. So the next video, I'll see you then. Get yourself out there, paint some dandelion jelly. It's a winner. So all I'm doing for the dandelions, yeah, these ones are going to go for these kids, they're, they're going crazy to know I'm next to them, they know there's some dandelions there. But all I'm simply doing is just getting the dandelion and just nipping the very top of it, and all I want was the heads for this. So everything else is edible, um, you can eat all the leaves and just wash them and blanch them, and they make good salad leaves. Sometimes they're a little bit bitter, so you might want to put a little bit more um, vinaigrette or something with it just to make them a little bit nicer. But these, these things, they love them, yeah, so we'll just pick these ones because they're next to them and I'll do, I'll give a few little greens as well. Uh, that's why I don't pull them all out of my garden in one go because these things, these guinea pigs love these dandelions. Look at them, look, 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 look. I don't know if you can see them, yeah, look at them, they're going crazy, crazy, there we go, look, there we go, look, look at these two boys, look at these boys. Put them in there. They'll eat those little things. Here, look. Another one. 